Part 2, Collecting Light Terms. You will find this on page 98 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 8 textbook, Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's first look at example 2. Use different color pens or shapes to identify the light terms in each expression below. Simplify each expression by collecting like terms. Okay, now for the first one, I'm just going to use my highlighters. So, if you look, in this expression, there's four terms, but negative 3a will be like to negative 4a. Can you see I highlight it from the sign because the number grabbed the sign in front of it, okay? And there is positive 2b, positive 8b. So, I can add the like terms. Now, negative 3 and negative 4, what do I do if the signs are the same? I keep the sign and I add the numbers. And that's where I got my negative 7a. Then 8 plus 2, what will that be? That will just be positive 10b. And my final answer will have two terms. I cannot simplify it further because it's unlike terms. Let's look at the next one. There's a 2ab. There's a negative 8ab. Okay, let's look for other terms. There's a negative 3a and there's a negative, if this stands nothing, 1a. And then, don't forget the last, there is a positive 6, a constant, and there's my other constant. So, let's add up my like terms. So, look, positive 2 minus 8. What do I do if the signs are different? I subtract the numbers. I find the difference. And that will be 6. And I take the sign in front of the biggest movement, and that was negative. So, it's negative 6ab, and I keep my variables the same. Then the next one, negative 3 and negative 1. So if the signs are the same, I keep the sign and I add the numbers. So 3 and 1, that will be negative 4a. And then my constant, what is 6 minus 1 over 5? That will just be positive, four, positive 5 and 4 over 5. And my final answer will have 1, 2, terms. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do A, B and C. And as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. So let's look at try now two. Okay, let's look at number A. Okay, I prefer to rewrite first everything to make, to get rid of unnecessary mistakes. Okay, my algebraic expression is having one, two, three, four terms. So first I have to, to highlight or mark my like terms. Now you can just use a pencil or a pen in the exams if you don't have colored pencils and make the same symbol or sign underneath each term. So look, there's an X. Remember if there stands nothing, it's a one. So there's an X and there's another term with X. Highlight it from the sign. And then look, there's positive one Y and there's positive 4y. And if I add it up, I will just say now 1 plus 3, that will be 4, and I keep my variable the same. And then 1 plus 4, that will be 5y. So my final answer will have two unlike terms. Okay, let's look at number b. So in this case, it was a minus b minus 2a minus 3 B. Again, let's just mark our like terms. I always do that. So put a 1 if there's not a 1, especially if you're on grade 8. There's 1A from the sign, negative 2A. And then look, there's a 1 if there stands nothing. And there's also. So this 2, they are like terms. And this 2, they are like terms. So let's just simplify it. 1 minus 2, the signs are different. So what? Remember, because there's a positive. So what do I do? I subtract. And I take the sign in front of the biggest movement. So that was negative and A. And then I just look at my B. So it's negative 1 and negative 3. If the signs are the same, I keep the sign and I add the numbers. I can rewrite it as negative A plus 4B. Usually we do not write that one. And then the final one, let's look at number C. So it was 2XY minus x minus 8 xy plus 
5 plus 12 8 minus 12. So look, my expression is having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 terms. So let's just mark our like terms. This one is liked with this one from the sign. And then there's an x and there is also a term with x. And then there is a constant and another constant. Okay, so let's just add up my like terms. So what do I do if the signs are different? I subtract, so I get 6. The biggest movement was negative, so it's negative 6. And I just rewrite the variables. And then remember there's a 1. So negative 1 plus 12, the signs are again different. So what do I do? I subtract, so I get um, 11, and the biggest movement was positive, so positive 11x. And then lo let's look at our constant, so that was 5 minus 12, signs are different, so what do I do? I subtract, and I take the sign in front of the biggest movement, so it's negative 7. So my final answer will have 1, 2, 3 terms. Okay, and then I just want to, okay, let's go through the next example. And then we can control it. Okay, we will do the next example in part three.